Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex, and today we are exploring Mallorca. You'd be forgiven for thinking of Mallorca as a typical resort destination, conjuring up images of burnt British tourists sizzling in the Spanish sun like rotisserie chickens. In this video, we go on a road trip around Mallorca in the hope of discovering what else the island has to offer, from quaint towns, hidden beaches, and epic mountain roads. We pick up where we left off in the last video, waking up in our rented camper van. Oh my god, what a way to start the day. There's baby goats outside our van. Beach goats. <laughs> Beach goats, I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh. Although we could have stayed relaxing in this spot all day, we had some shit to do. I don't know why, but it feels like I'm cheating on our van when I <laughs> film this van. Especially flying the drone, like I know it looks so nice with this van, but it's not our baby. No, it is weird and it's strange to get used to driving this one as well. It's like I'm looking elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> We started making our way over to our first stop of the day in the most northern part of the island, where we were promised the most epic of viewpoints. We have been completely derailed <laughs> because the first spot we were going to, there's a big sign saying that the road is closed, so we turned around. But everyone's still driving down here. And we've watched a number of people kind of slow down and decide to go anyway, so we're, we're going to go anyway. We're going to be sheep. But I, I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be a reason there was like a road blockage. Yeah. So in theory, we're not going to get to go to our first spot. I hate oh, that feeling because once you've nice. got something in your head, I wanted to do that and I and I'd planned yeah. it. No, so that, now what? It. <laughs> now what? There's only all the other stuff we have planned for the day, I suppose. <laughs> As we drove along the coastal road, it all seemed pretty promising until this is it the end of the line now how am i gonna turn around i just have to wait for these people to move <laughs> what the f so this guy here has just zipped past he's about four cars behind and decided that he's just parking now making it more awkward for everyone weirdo people I are so weird you're waiting <laughs> now this guy behind can't get out because that car over there has decided to I mean to... there's only so annoyed I can be when we come down a road that's blocked <laughs> oh, yeah it's more funny than anything it's more people just being tits isn't it so what nationality are we gonna stereotype those guys with because I've just actually heard their accent and maybe a surprise to you, maybe not. Are they British? German. German accent. I'm not saying anything. Well, no, I think maybe the uh, the Austrians can blame the Germans, the Germans can blame the Swiss, and the Swiss can blame the Austrians, and that way... <laughs> Nobody actually gets No one gets real blame. <laughs> Mind you, if I had a Euro for every time an English person did something tittish on holiday, I'd be a billionaire. Okay, I'm not a billionaire, but I'd have a few quid. <laughs> I, mean, I think the, the rule of thumb is that every nationality is rubbish. Wow, this is amazing. As we couldn't drive any further north, it was time to turn around and make our way to our next stop. Just a short drive away from the last spot was this lovely little beach we wanted to go and check out and it took us about two seconds before we're like we need to go back to the van and get our swimming stuff. For sure. I, just, I think it's like a crime to be on a beach that looks like that and not get in the water. Yeah, Especially when it's not freezing like Scotland. How ideal is this? The warmth of the sun on my skin right now. I feel like I've been transported back to summertime. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> it always feels good as well with van life. Like you feel like you're getting even more for your money. Like this is free. Yeah. I mean, we slept for free last night. And we have a shower with this van as well. So we can rinse off after. Oh, I'm buzzing. I know this looks super idyllic, but as soon as Emma got in, she's just been shouting, can I get out now, please? Can I get out now, please? It's freezing, it's hurting. Right, a few more seconds, let me just film the drone. See what she's, oh, Jesus, she's right. Woo! It looks so perfect through my eyes and the camera. 
It just doesn't feel perfect. Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> Fish! Oh, the all important part is in. <laughs> Woo! The forecast for our time on the island here is much more like that then it is lovely sunshine, but today is our day. We've grabbed it by the balls for the one little sliver of sun that we've got on our trip. I wish I still had balls after getting there. <laughs> after a quick van shower, we were back on the road again, stopping occasionally to take in the gorgeous scenery as we made our way down to the Boca Valley to enjoy some hiking while the weather was still on our side. Now that we're on this beautiful hike, I thought this would be the perfect moment to thank today's sponsors, Enret, for making today's video possible. Enret have kindly sent us these neck gaiters, which if you've been watching for a while, you know that we used last summer during the heat wave in the UK, and they came in very handy indeed. The thing we really loved about them was that during that heat wave, it was so hot out cycling that we could wear one of these, get them nice and wet and put them around our neck and it would just keep us cool. It also works really well to stop any dust or dirt flying into your face as you're cycling along, especially down those dirt tracks. They are made from a lightweight elastic material and come in a bunch of different colors. Has these handy little ear loops here to actually keep it on your mush as you're doing your hike. <laughs> and actually you can wear these in a number of different ways. So you can either just have it around your neck like this, put it up whenever needs be, or you can wear it as a headband, even a hair tie, because it's really sort of stretchy elastic material. It's good in a variety of different environments because it protects against sun, dust, and bugs. So if you're going somewhere like Scotland and you're worried about the midges, get yourself one of these. Also, if you have delicate skin, like a little owl behind the camera <laughs> there, you can be protected from the sun too. <laughs> This hike feels like such a hidden gem. Just completely stumbled across it. I haven't seen it recommended anywhere. It's so nice. I'll leave in the description where this hike is so you can find it for yourself because there's yeah. no one around. Okay, it's low season. But <laughs> it's so good. It kind of reminds me of that hike that we did near Vegas in the Valley of Fire on that road trip, apart from the rocks aren't red. There we found like a secret trail. Like hidden between the rocks, you go in between them and then there's just all this green hidden away inside. Yeah, and this has got the same kind of vibe. Lovely. <laughs> Why are they so comical? In the past, you might have seen my ingenious little cooling hack where I comically throw my face onto a rock. <laughs> but if you don't have a rock that you can throw your face onto, what you can do is you can take your Enrit mask, you can take some water, pour a bit of water on it. Due to the technology of the cooling fibers. <laughs> so technical. <laughs> yep. You wring it out, you throw it on over your neck, and you'll never need a rock again for your face. <laughs> never need a rock again. <laughs> it is so nice that this is definitely the best feature for me, is the cooling technology. Yeah, you bloody love it. I do. <laughs> After a big sweaty hike like that. You're a sweaty mess. I am a sweaty man, which is healthy, I think. Probably. Well, well, sure, I mean, why not? Well, surely we evolved <laughs> to cool down. Apparently not enough though, because you need to do that to keep cool. If you're interested in purchasing your very own neck gaiter from Enrit, we will leave a link down in the description below. It is available on Amazon.com, but is also available to be delivered to the UK. This hike eventually leads down to a beach, but after an hour or so of walking with the rocky terrain, we decided to turn back before it got too dark and to find a spot to watch the sunset. There's a goat in the tree. <laughs> I think we're blocking its exit and it's a little unsure about what to do. Do I walk? Well, maybe not. I don't want it to headbutt me. <laughs> the coast is clear. So we stopped by this viewpoint earlier, but 
thankfully we decided to come back for sunset where we were just hiking was just in that little inlet in there and the sunset is actually like 360 it's in every direction it's not just behind me it's everywhere and i would even argue the view over here has got to be the best look at that the pink sky and everything it's so perfect after soaking in the sunset views, we made our way to the nearest town to grab some food before calling it a night. The following morning, we made our way deeper into the mountains to see the charming coastal village of Dea. It's kind of a running joke with Alex and I that whenever we go to a new place, it's either our favorite place we've ever been or we could live here. And then we start getting ahead of ourselves and looking at house prices and rent prices and all kinds of things. Mallorca definitely hasn't had that for us so far, but that's all changed today. As soon as we've come to these mountain towns, we're just like, yeah, we could live here, you know? <laughs> it's not our favorite place we've ever been. No. But it feels oh, but very livable. It's so lovely. And especially up here in the mountains, like the fresh mountain air, and it's got that like autumnal smell to it. I can't really describe it other than autumnal smelling. And you have all the colors of the leaves changing up here, which you don't have so much down by the coast. Also all the layers mm. with the house and the green. Oh, It's so cute, isn't it? Walking around this gorgeous town, we felt a world away from the beach resorts Mallorca is famous for. Visiting in low season meant the streets were quiet and peaceful, whilst local life was still going on around us, which really added to the atmosphere of the place. This is definitely the highlight of the trip for me so far. There's something a little bit depressing about driving through the resort towns. Especially the ones that are empty with loads of places closed. And very run down. Whereas this one is a perfect combination of nature meets sort of urbanization. It feels much more lived in versus the other ones that are clearly there for the tourists. I mean, I'm sure it is very well known and touristy, but it just feels like it's touristy in a very different way. A richer way. That's what you're <laughs> trying to say, isn't it? It's a bit more middle class. Well, I mean, there's stuff going on here. I guess like beach towns aren't really a place to go this time of year, whereas this kind of place is going to be nice all year round. More away from the riffraff. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I think it's safe to say that I have well and truly had my mind changed about Mallorca. It's not just the beach resort town it's full of drunken English that I thought it was. No, it's all about this mountainous area especially. Like for me anyway, this is like, I could spend a month just roaming around this part. It almost feels like to me that Mallorca is the most overrated and underrated place. <laughs> As for time. Brits, because Brits all know it but yeah. I never hear it talked about like this. And with flights as cheap as like, I don't know, 10 to 50 quid, quite regularly from different parts of England, it seems like it's a must go place. I'm gobsmacked. I mean, who would have thought Mallorca is like an ultimate road trip destination? It's, like you said earlier, so overrated yet so underrated at the same time. Like, I didn't know this was Mallorca. I just imagined beaches and resorts. Yeah, these roads are just something else. It keeps delivering more and more. I, I would literally come here just for a road trip in yeah. this region. These bends are nuts. They're actually like figure of eight bends. I think they have to be some of the sharpest that I've seen, even more so than the Apple Cross Pass when we were in Scotland. Yeah, this makes the Apple Cross look like chump change. Yeah, <laughs> it really does. Does that mean we could call this video the most dangerous road in Europe? Yeah, sure, why not? Look scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to take a moment to give a shout out to the cyclists on this route because they're the real heroes here. Like they're cycling up these massive mountains in these figure of eight endless loops. How on earth do they maintain any motivation <laughs> to keep going? I have no idea. I don't think that we should be labeling people heroes just willy nilly. They have voluntarily <laughs> chose to come on here. A hero is someone that acts in the face of danger, yeah. like signing up to the American army. Now that's a real hero. <laughs> What on earth 
was that okay scratch that the cyclists you're just cruising along fine that guy what on earth is he doing <laughs> can anyone leave in the comments what was that it looked like he was like skiing up on rollerblades wow <laughs> i'm literally driving between the rocks if you're in Mallorca, you have to do this drive. It's like a crime to not do this drive. <laughs> At the end of this epic drive, we were met with gorgeous, clear water, surrounded by the towering mountains that we'd just been driving through. But this wasn't what we came for. We took the coastal footpath, leading us to a tunnel through the side of the mountains. This is such a great walk, and I'm surprised it's not busier, but I guess when you have such a crazy road like that, not everyone's going to be tackling it. So at the bottom, you get yourself <laughs> this. Look at this little tunnel. And the colour of the water is just blue. <laughs> Follow me. What a lovely place to stop your boat. There's no one else around. This is so cool. <laughs> here to check out this beach with the two rocks leading out to the ocean but actually I think the most impressive bits inside don't you yeah this reminds me a bit of like Zion or something it's magical nature feel to it it's so nice and it just looks like it keeps going back there I don't know how like if we had time and it wasn't coming up to sunset I just want to keep walking through and see where it ends up yeah all the colors an obscene amount of colours. You've got like the oranges from the rocks as well around next to the greens of all the plants and the colour of the water is just absurd. All in all, top spot. Yes, highly recommended. We absolutely loved our time spent on this island with such unique and varied landscapes. The only thing left to do was to find one last park up to end our trip. What a couple of days we've had exploring Mallorca and we have found the perfect spot to stay for the night. There is not a single other soul in sight. All we can hear is the sound of the birds and the goats in the distance and just surrounded by mountains and greenery. Oh, it couldn't be more idyllic. I still can't believe that Mallorca is a van life haven full of amazing road trips and nature. That road we drove on today was absolutely incredible. I actually, towards the end, I even said to you, didn't I? I started to feel queasy towards the end and I was driving. Yeah, that's never happened before. Yeah, that's a first for you. That was a very windy road. <laughs> Leave in the comments, what crazy road trips have you done? We want to do them all. And what places have you been to expecting one thing and had your mind completely changed about it? Yeah, where is overrated and underrated at the same time? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe. Also join our Patreon. Oh, And fancy. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, because, you know, you would already know that we're here if you're on Instagram with us. But if you had to choose one of the two... YouTube. Patreon. Oh. Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And beads out! <laughs>